Okay, everybody, and thank you for joining me on my channel. I am um, being called to do a love reading. This is for those of you who are in the twin flame journey that um, is currently in separation from your divine partner. So we'll see what the cards have to tell us today. Is my intention with this reading to um, to bring you some, bring you some clarity and all the messages from the divine that are for your um, best and greatest good. So let's see what the angels have for us today. This is for divine masculine and for divine feminine. It's just whether or not you are in separation. Okay, your guys' first card to flip was passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is um, mostly about passion of life. Um, being thankful for what it is that you have. Being thankful for the blessings and the lessons that have come to your life. But no matter what, don't let anybody put you in a pause. Don't let anybody hold you down, hold you back. Live your life with passion and allow your heart to enjoy the little things. Whether you are waiting on this person or waiting to hear from this person or what have you, make sure you are allowing yourself, your heart, to feel the joy of life to um, keep on living, whether you are waiting for somebody or not. Um, find the passion in your everyday. Find the passion in what it is that makes you happy outside of this person. A lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of people um, in the journey get so stuck in um, the spot of waiting that we, um, without even thinking, put our whole life on pause. So that's just saying to make sure that you are enjoying life to its fullest with or without this person. Um, this person is coming to you very soon. Um, getting to know each other. Uh, as you reveal your innermost selves, uh, your bond is going to strengthen. For um, a lot of you, my angels are saying that not only getting to know each other, but it's time for you to get to know yourself again. Um, sometimes we love so hard that we lose ourselves. Um, make sure you are going within and finding the inner you again, finding your beauty, finding your purpose and get to know yourself again in this time of separation. Um, so that way, when you do come back together, you're going to be totally different people. You have been hurt in the past. You have healed from the past. You have, um, found yourself again, found your true path, your niche and, and so it's going to be exciting and fun to get to know each other again because you're not going to be the same two people that you were when you guys um, separated or together uh, the last time. And like I was saying, very soon, this person is returning to you very soon. Um, clearly decide what it is that, uh, that you want so the universe can help you co-create. Um, they want to help you bring in what it is that you truly want. They want you to be happy. So, um, so don't worry about when, where, what, and why. Just let the universe know what it is that you want to create and allow them to help you bring those blessings to you. The next card out was, it is safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive to the highest energy of all. So um, sometimes after being hurt, uh, we close off. We close ourselves down so we don't have to feel the pain. But the only problem with that is in that time of being closed off, so we numb the pain, we block out the, the joy, the happiness. So, um, you know, always go into a relationship uh, knowing that there's the, uh, there's the possibility of being hurt. But know that this time it is safe for you to love. Um, make sure you are opening your heart to the fullest so that you can receive in the fullest. Um, in life, there's always risk of being hurt. But the reward for going in and allowing your heart to feel um, is the return of pure joy, pure love. Um, real love, real joy. Not having to fake that smile every day. Your next card out is express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, you know, these two kind of go hand in hand. It's it's okay for you to let this person know how much they actually mean to you, how much uh, 
how much you truly feel for them and and what you want out of this relationship. Um, when the two of you come back together, it's very important for the two of you to spell it out right from the get go. You know, this is what I want. This is what I need. And this is what I can give you. If you have a problem with any of those three things I just said, then it's time. Let's separate and continue to work on ourselves until we can um, give each other what we want and need and are able to give that back to the person um, in the same way past life relationship that goes without explaining you have known each other before many lifetimes are twin flames um, and yourselves come back uh, into the next life with each other to uh, to come together to create and to contribute to the collective and making the world a better place whatever your soul's purpose is um, is what the two of you are here to achieve so um, most definitely this is a past life relationship. Um, you know, you know, when you're in the journey, if this is a twin flame or not, cause it's different from all other things you've ever experienced or felt. Um, it, if you have to question, is this my twin flame? Um, chances are it could be, it may not be, but it is um, normal, or I guess would be the best word to use that to have doubts along the way, because this journey can get so heavy and so hurtful and so just exhausting that it's normal for you to question once in a while. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe, um, I put too much into this. Maybe there is something that I'm missing, but this is here to let you know that this is you are in the journey. If if you felt that from the get go that this was different, this is um, this is just out of this world connection. Um, it's it's okay to have those second guessing along the way, but set that worry aside because when you have doubt and when you um, lose hope, that is um, going to only put more time in between the two of you before a union or reunion can happen. So just remember to keep the faith, have hope and know that they are returning to you because currently you are calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations help bring you two together. Continue to pray to your angels to bring the two of you together. Continue to pray for healing. Um, do your positive affirmations. You do deserve this. Sometimes along the way, we doubt, maybe I don't even deserve this person. Am I enough for this person? Do I even have what it takes to make this person happy? Yes, yes, and yes. So continue your positive affirmations. Um, visualize the two of you together. Um, do your uh, meditations and, and know that you are enough and that they are coming to you. You just have to continue to keep the faith and um, the hope and know that this person is meant for you and this person will return to you. So just stay positive and because um, what we think we create as we know. So um, just remember to uh, perceive the situation as positive as you can. All right, let's get one more, one more message from the angels. Trust. A beautiful way to end the reading. Um, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, this is so important along this journey uh, to trust that your angels are doing what they can to bring this person back to you. Trust that everything you do is for a reason. Trust that everything that happens to us is for a reason. Um, trust in your journey. Trust in the path, trust in your partner that they really are doing what they have to do to come back towards you. Um, and just mostly trust in yourself that what you feel is real, what you want is possible, and what is coming to you is well deserved. So um, you have the tools to make it through this journey, you have what it takes to um, come back into union or into union with your person, with your partner, um, 
the journey is never easy. It's never promised to be a walk in the park, but in the end, it will be worth it. So continue to put in the work, continue to have faith, continue to trust, and um, continue to know that the journey you are on is where you're meant to be, and it, you will be coming to the destination very, very soon. So have faith. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this quick little um, twin reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I send you love, light, healing, and God bless.